now we will calculate the peak short circuit current that is the ip now we will calculate the state breaking current ib you can also calculate the value of uh, mu from this equation now we will calculate the steady state short circuit current that is i k hello friends welcome to electrical design engineering youtube channel today is our lecture number 20 in the previous lecture in that is the lecture number 19 we have studied about the initial symmetrical short circuit current how to calculate the initial symmetrical short circuit current we have used also excel there and we calculated by hand calculation and excel the initial uh, symmetrical short circuit current now in today's lecture we will take the same example and calculate the peak short circuit current short circuit breaking current and steady state current before starting today's lecture please subscribe the channel like the video and share the videos on your social media profiles in the previous lecture we have taken this example and we have taken this the input data this is the grid data this is the transformer data and this is the load data and we have to consider the base MVA 100 here you can see one thing there our load is 8 MVA and in the 8 MVA load we have 80% motor load and 20% static load with a power factor of 0 0.85 in the previous lecture we have calculated the percentage impedance of the grid uh, reactance of the grid and the resistance of the grid percentage impedance of the transformer reactance of the transformer and resistance of the transformer on a 100 MVA base and we also calculate the initial symmetrical short circuit current without motor contribution if the motor contribution to fault current can be considered four times the rated current of the motor that is the rating of the motor divided by root 3 into voltage rating 4 into our motor load is 6.4 MVA that is 80% of the 8 MVA into root 3 into 11 11 is the voltage rating of the motor of the load that becomes 2.33 kilo amperes the net uh, initial symmetrical short circuit current becomes the sum of this current that is the initial symmetrical short circuit current without motor contribution and the short circuit current, uh, contribution of uh, contribution to the motor total current becomes 12 kilo amperes now we will calculate the peak short circuit current that is the IP IP equals root 2 K times of initial symmetrical current uh, IK double dash K is equal to 1.02 plus 0.8 e raised to the power minus 3 divided by X to find the value of K we should know the value of resistance up to the fault point and value of reactance up to the fault point so first of all we will calculate R and then X and then ratio minus 3 by Rx R is equal is the up to the fault point there are two uh, resistance one is the resistance of the grid and other the resistance of the transformer so sum of these two resistance becomes 0 0.0372 similarly the sum of the reactance that is the reactance of the grid and the reactance of the transformer is called becomes 0 0.721 the ratio of minus 3 by r by x equal is 0 minus 0 0.115 Putting this value in the equation that is k in the k equation we can find the value of k the value of k becomes 1.866 putting this value in this equation that is in the ip equation we can calculate able to calculate the ip short circuit current that becomes 31.56 kilo amperes now we have calculated the peak short circuit current now we will calculate the state breaking current ib the equation for IB is equal to mu times of IK double dash for synchronous machines and IB is equal to mu Q IK double dash for asynchronous machines. Mu and Q are the factors that account for the AC decay. For fault from, for, from the generator, the symmetrical short circuit breaking current that is IB is equal to the initial symmetrical short circuit current that is IK double dash. Breaking currents are calculated at time delay of 0 0.02 seconds, 0 0.05 seconds, and 0 0.1 seconds, and 0 0.25 seconds. Mu is considered 1 when the ratio of initial symmetrical short circuit current of the 
grid or a generator divided by rate current of the grid or a generator is less than 2. Whereas IRG is the rate uh, generator current and T mean is the minimum time delay. To calculate the new value for a different time is that 0 .0 time delay is 0 0.02 seconds or 0 0.05 seconds. These are the equations. With these equations, you can calculate the mu at different time delays and value of Q at different time delays. You can also calculate the value of uh, mu from this equation. You can see this. This is the ratio of IK double dash G and IRG and this is the time delay curves and these are the value of mu. For Q you can calculate other value of Q from this uh, from this thing from these curves also. This is the ratio of uh, this is the motor per unit power of active power of the motor per PL of polus and this is the value of Q this side and these are the time delays with this help you can calculate the value of Q. We have calculated the fault current at bus 2 which is far from the generator generator thus IB, our IB becomes equal to IK double day that is 12 kilo amperes. These things you can also check when we perform the uh, in tap analysis of this equation of this example and you can find this our IB becomes is equal to I, our IK double dash. Now we will calculate the steady state short circuit current that is IK. IK max is equal to lambda max by IR this is the maximum steady state short circuit current with the synchronous generator and it is highest excitation. IK mean is equal to lambda mean IR. This is the minimum steady state short circuit current calculated under no load constant excitation condition for the synchronous generator. The amplitude of the steady state short circuit current IK depends on generator saturation influences and calculation is, is therefore less accurate than for the initial symmetrical short circuit current IK double dash. For short circuit and from the generator and the worst case uh, estimation case is IK is called IK double dash. And that means in if the fault is far from the generator and if we consider the worst case of the fault that then our IK that is the steady state uh, short circuit current should be equal to IK double dash that it is the initial symmetrical short circuit current. You can also calculate the value of lambda max and lambda mu from these two graphs. This is for the turbo generator and this is for the generator with silent poles. Thank you.